Clint! Over here! I found them! I found them. Sorry, uh, who'd you, who did you talk to? Uh, Janice. Hello? Oh, hey. You know, that, that, that doesn't matter. Because he doesn't care. Yes, I will remind him, 6.30. No. Because that's just who he is. Okay, yeah, I love you too. Bye. Sorry. Head office wants this done right away. They want to try and save their third quarter. Clint, they want you to lay these people off by the end of the month. How many by the end of the month? Four. Four, Bill? Jesus Christ, four? We gotta do this. Four people without jobs is better than 50. No, you know what? Call head office one more time. See if there's anything we can do, please. They're not gonna budge, Clint. Well, then those corporate clowns can come down here and tell them themselves. Tell their families that they don't have jobs or money or any... I'm sorry, Bill, that, that's not you, okay? I get it. Hey, Gary, what's going on? There's some guy here, says he's your brother. Adam? Yeah. Thanks, Gary, I'll be right out. Hey, Adam. Hey. I didn't expect you to come here. I thought you'd just meet at the house. Hi, oh, yeah. I thought I'd just come by and you know, see the place. I hope you didn't wait too long. No, no, they gave me some coffee. You didn't drink it, did you? <laughs> no. This thing, it's been there since we were kids. <sighs> yeah. So you're doing dad's old job, huh? Well, sort of, I guess. I'm head of operations. Dad, uh, he had sitting behind a desk, right? Right. I could take you on a tour if you like. Not that much has changed. Sure. <laughs> All right. But you'll have to wear one of these, bud. You know, on second thought, maybe I'll, uh, Maybe we'll just see you at the house. I'm gonna take a drive through town. Yeah, okay, no problem. See you in a bit. Oh, hey. Dinner is at 6.30, all right? 6.30, got it.
Have I met Uncle Adam before? No. Not yet, buddy. I'm hungry. I had a too. <sighs> okay. Fine. Let's eat. Is that him? Could be. You stay right there. Hey. You're late. Yeah, sorry, I just lost track of time. I see. Well, let's go meet the family. Hey guys, this is your Uncle Adam. Hi. It's good to see you, Adam. You too, Sophie. Come on in. Hey, buddy. Hi. How old are you? Six, and she's my little sister, and she's three. Three, huh? Hi. We almost got started without you. Well, thanks for waiting. for a drive around town today, just for old time's sake. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hasn't changed one bit. And what did you expect? An urban sprawl of office buildings and coffee shops? I don't know, a, a Starbucks, maybe? <laughs> it's a simpler life, Adam. Yeah. What? I, I, I didn't say anything. I know that look. <laughs> Man, I can't believe Bradley is as big as he is. Yeah. You know he's going to be seven next summer? Man. You like hunting as much as his dad? Of course. Mostly birds, though. I mean, if he had to shoot a deer, he'd probably cry. I think I'd bawl my eyes out if I had to shoot a deer. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, I can finish up here. Really? Yeah, you're excused. Well, thank you. I haven't done dishes in about 10 years, so I'm a little out of practice. Mm -hmm. Adam. He's glad you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, Skinny and Stella, I'll tell you a tale I know nothing about. Admission is free, so pay at the door. Pull up a chair and sit on the floor. My love has gone this time, buddy. Deer are way, way up in the mountain. It's going to be a tough climb, even for your old man.
Where are you going? I'm just going to see some of the guys in town at Lucy's. Huh. Okay. What? Nothing. <laughs> Will you relax? We're going to be together for six days. I, I get it. Just remember, we got to get up really early tomorrow, right? I'll be ready. 6.30 a.m. I got it. I don't know. It's, you know, it's just you can... Uh, I can what? Lose track of time. Will you take it easy? It's a camping trip, not a shuttle launch. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't go to Lucy's if I were you. You'll end up getting drunk and marrying one of the local gals. <laughs> I would have to be extremely drunk to end up with one of those town heifers. Are you calling me a heifer? What? Uh, no, not you. I mean, I... come on, you know what I mean. <laughs> You come home drunk, I'm sending the kids into your room at 6 a.m. Sure. Hey, you guys should do a little um, redecorating in here. It's been the same since 1986. Start with that couch. I like this couch. Yeah, me too. We should change the wallpaper, though. You want me to run out to the truck and get your proper shirt? I mean, what is that anyway? It's called a t-shirt. It's a new thing. I know him. He invented communism. Yeah, something like that. What are you, some sort of commie now, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? <sighs> Visiting my brother. Actually, I'm going hunting with him, if you can believe it. Nobody's got anything bigger than a grouse over the last five years. My brother would be off his rocker if he thinks he can bag it, do you? Yeah, well, I'm hoping we don't even see one. Didn't you hate hunting? Yeah, still do. Maybe Clint knows something we don't know. Where are you headed, anyway? All the way up to the plateau. What? Remember Doug Grant, hardware store? No. He went up there 10 years ago. It was 15 years ago, and Doug was an actual retard. Shut up. He wasn't a retard. Yes, he was. Okay, regardless, what happened to him? Went up to the plateau, never came back. And that's it? And nobody ever found out what happened to this guy? Don't worry, buddy. I'll come looking for you. <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink. You charge your cell phone? <clears throat> Yeah, the thing is, uh, cell phones don't work about four hours into the hike, so... Oh, how convenient for you. Right? <laughs> no, trust me, I would... I would definitely call you if I could. Six days with just my brother. Pretty sure I'm gonna end up just talking to the trees. Yeah. Don't shoot your brother. I just, I don't want to hear a story that I can't unhear. You know Wrong, saying? man. <laughs> you do, because when, so we, we, she, she just, I don't know, she just, she's like turned over quickly and all of a sudden her tits were <laughs> flapping up in my face. <laughs> what do you mean she turned around? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it just, <laughs> Boys, it's late. Uh, yeah. Oh. I think I gotta go home. Hey, cheers. Good to see you guys. Yeah, you too, man. Don't wait another 15 years to come back. Yeah, well, if I do, I bet you guys will be sitting right here. I really hope so. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Peace. Ow. Watch your step. <laughs> see ya.
This is terrible. No one's ever complained. You're the first to whine about it. Coffee? Good times with your old friends? Ugh. I'll see you outside. expect to carry in that backpack? I got some food, I got my sleeping bag. Okay, what kind of sleeping bag? What difference does it make? It's gonna be freezing up there. I don't know what kind of sleeping bag it is. What is this? I packed your bag. Why? Well, let's just say I had a hunch. Look, just because you think you know what you're doing does not mean I need you to pack me a bag. Right. Well, let's take your car. Why are you going to be such a dick? I see you traded in Dad's old truck. Yeah, Dad's died a few years back. Left you the house, left you the truck. What else did he leave you? Guilt? Scared the piss out of me. Will you come on. I want to get there before dark. That's Dad's gun, right? Yep. Can I use yours? No. Can't hit the broad side of a barn with Dad's gun. Can I drive? Also, no.
Man, I love this place. Yeah, it's great. So how far are we going? Well, we're gonna hike around to that point. Then we are right on the plateau. Wow. Yeah, I, I still don't understand why we don't just take the quad all the way up there. I mean, it's a machine. It, it's built to do that. Because, Precious, we're doing this old school. I want the sound of engines and the smell of gas miles behind us. <laughs> Ready. So we're gonna hike up to the plateau. Yeah. Why? Uh, nothing. Just the, uh, the guys last night, they were all just saying. Okay, what did your ladies tell you last night? Nothing. They just said nobody goes up there anymore. Let me guess, they told you the story of Doug Grant? Yeah. Doug had no business being up here. Guy was half retarded. You know, in the civilized world, we don't use that word anymore, just so you know. Whatever. People don't come up because it's a bitch to hike to, not because of some old wives' tale. And I bet there are huge deer just begging to be harvested. And this was your idea. Killed. Huh? Huge deer up there just begging to be killed is what you meant. Whatever. I bet even if we miss, we could just walk up and... Club Love it with your gun. gun. Yeah, exactly. Hey, screw it, man. Listen, I'm in. Let's go kill some deer in the face. Harvest. Uh, murder. Drops. Hey, you always want to keep the shell from your first kill. Okay, Dad. You know, shooting light for about another hour or so. You want to see what we can see? Nah. You can knock yourself out. I think I'm just gonna chill out here for a moment. Oh, yeah. All right. that noise? It was hard to miss. Well, have you ever heard anything like that before? No, never. The hell was that? Relax, child. It's a bunch of mines out here. They're probably fracking. The sound carries out here. Just used to your city noises, that's all. <laughs> yeah, well, I've never heard a noise like that in the city or anywhere. And it wasn't fracking. I play that much. Really? What? Fire. Oh, come on. 
We got a, we got a whole other day of hiking ahead of us. I'm cold. The smoke will embed in our clothes. And... <laughs> Smoke's good. Okay, sure. Oh, because you hunt. Yeah. What? Didn't you bring any deer piss? That's what we use to mask our smells, right? Deer piss? Am I right? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Okay, so then what's the problem? Okay. Tonight only. Did you see anything while you're out there? Yeah. Small doe. Really? That's great. Maybe we don't have to go as far to find some deer then. <laughs> She's probably just lost the big bucks. They're higher up the mountains time here. What is that? It's nothing. Go back to sleep. I can't go back to sleep. Sounds like it's getting closer. It's your imagination. Everything sounds louder out here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? No, don't, don't do that. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. I heard something else. Okay. We're leaving, all right? There's no way I'm going up any further. Shh. <laughs> ah, I told you. Everything sounds louder out here. Wake up, bro. We walk from here. Let's get going. Can't we just keep taking the quad? Nope. <sighs> mom! 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 I got one. I finally got one. Where's Adam? He's upstairs. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. You guys are late. Yeah, we had to go up further than last year. How'd it go? Yeah, good. He got his first one. Mm. Did he cry? Of course not. We should have taken Adam. He wouldn't have come anyway. Yeah, but you still should ask. He thinks you favor Clint. He's not like that at all. No, Clint and I just like the same things. Well, maybe as the adult in the relationship, you can find something that you and Adam can enjoy together. Hey, hey, go. Get washed up before you come near me. Ow! Out! Hey, Adam. Guess what, Dink? Adam, guess what? Shot a deer. Got him right in the chest. Good for you. You killed something. Dad said it was the biggest one he's seen in years. Almost a 14 pointer. I have no idea what that means. Oh, we have to count the times in the rack. Clint, what I meant to say is I don't care. Well, maybe you would care if you came with us for once instead of reading some stupid comic book. Walking through the woods? Looking for something to kill? No thanks. <sighs> You're such a little jerk. Whatever. Dick! Ring it!
different from your spin and yoga classes, huh? Shut up. So the good news is, is we only have to get to the top of that. Bad news is, is we got to go a long way around. We're going up there? Yeah. Well, why don't we just cut it short and just climb up right here? Because it's too steep, we don't have ropes, and you're carrying a 40-pound backpack, that's why. It doesn't look that dangerous to me. Looks can be deceiving. It's smarter to just go around. No, no, no. Screw the hour and a half hike. I'm going up here. Hey, I'm too old to lug you out on my back. Okay. Don't die. Ignoring this. Christ only. All right, boys. All right, enough. Clint, let go of your brother. Enough. Hey, come on. Fine. Go and set the table. Clint, get those stinky, bloody clothes off right now. You know, your uncle and I used to fight like you guys. Was your brother a dickhead too? Hey, he's not a dickhead. And you guys are just different. Oh, you think you're the first brother to be annoyed by his younger sibling? I don't know. Why can't you just be normal? I know your brother doesn't like the same things as us. Adam probably thinks it's you that's not normal. I hate him. You know, time changes everything, but you're gonna have to suck it up and be the older brother. I'll try. Good. Now go wash up for dinner, huh? You smell like a slaughterhouse. I'll be done. I'll love you too, son. Tell me, Rambo. Go that way, 300 yards. 300 yards? That's like three football fields. Yes. And then I want you to push up and go left. Okay, but if I see the deer, why don't I just shoot it? I have a gun. Because your job is to push it up to me. Oh, I see. Because you want first shotsies. Okay, that's cool. I get it. Shotsies. Just go.
Hey. So, did you miss? No, I got him for sure. He just didn't drop. I can't believe you took the shot. <laughs> Me either. So where'd you hit him? In the chest, I think, but he moved a little bit when I shot. What did he look like? He was big. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get him. Anything? No, nothing. What is that? What is that? I don't know! Come on, let's just go. That shit. It's dinner, all right, and it'll be delicious. You know, I can't believe you took that shot. Never in a million years did I think you would do that. I feel like shit about it. You eat me, right? I think we should go home tomorrow. No. We can't leave that deer out there. And all of a sudden, why are you so anxious about going home? I mean, this was your idea. Why did you want to come up here? Not that I mind. I mean, I've been meaning to call you. It's just... Why? Just want to see the town again. After 15 years? It just seemed like the right time. You're the one who turned this into a hunting trip. I thought we could just go camping or something. So you wanted to come up here because of dreams? I gotta say, that's a little weird. You know, Dad would've been happy about this. Why? Because I'm hunting? No, you idiot, because... You know, no matter what, he was our dad. He was way more of a dad to you. Well, you certainly didn't take the high road when he needed you, did you? He didn't need me. He had you. I had to look after him all by myself. You think that was fun? Do you really think that he would have wanted me around? I wanted you around, Adam. I wanted you there for me. For me. Can you just... You know what? Never mind. You know, he asked about you all the time. He wanted to know what you were up to. And he hoped you would visit one last time. I came for the funeral. The, f the funeral? That was closure for you. I didn't come up here to defend him. That part of our lives is over. I just promised him I would make it right. And when you suggested coming up here, I thought... I thought you could close the book. You and I will never agree about our father. And if you're okay with that, then I'm okay with closing the book. That looks like shit.
What came between you and Dad, anyway? You. your binky. Adam, I got it. You're kidding. Oh, that's great. Let's go. Yeah. You see something from up there? Where?
What did you do? I'm sorry, bro. I had to. You wouldn't have been able to move if I didn't. Oh, you have any morphine in that pack? No, sorry. What do you want? Let me go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can give it a try, but won't get your hopes up. Nothing. We're moving more in the open tomorrow morning. Give it another try then, all right? Sure. What the hell was that shit up there? I'm not sure, man. What? Not nothing. It's just my imagination getting the better of me. What? It was just an old deer or something. Antlers were all broken and ugly. What happened to you up there? I don't know. You said you recognize the place, but you, you've never been there since. Since when? You don't remember? Dad and I lost you when you were four. We, we were hiking and you just disappeared. What? What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. We, we found you after a few hours. Dad was panicking. And... Seriously, you don't remember at all? No. Nothing. You never did like the outdoors. I still don't. Dad just thought you were gay. <laughs> what was that? Stupid thing dad used to say. <laughs> and then about being at the office and hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bad day hunting beats a good day working every time. I've never disagreed with him more. Well, that's saying something. It's one of these crows. I've ever seen before. Jesus Christ! It doesn't change the fact that we gotta get off the goddamn mountain. All right? It doesn't matter. We'd be in the same boat if it was a bear. No, we wouldn't. At least a bear is an animal. Whatever. We gotta leave. Be scared of pissing ourselves. It doesn't get us off the goddamn mountain. Do you even know where you're going? I'm just trying to get away, farther away. What the fuck does that what mean? What the hell do you want to do? Huh? You wanna, you wanna wait for that thing to come? Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. 
Are you okay? Uh, you gonna be all right here? Yeah. Uh, if you see any that isn't me, you shoot it. You hear me? I'll come back down. Yeah. That's a good plan. Where's your phone? In the pocket of my bag. Oh, God. You good? Yeah. If you could hurry, that'd be fantastic. Come on. I'm coming down now!
Sophie. Hello, who is this? It's Sophie, it's me. It's me, Clint. Clint? Yes, yes, Sophie, Sophie. Sophie, can you hear me? You're cutting in and out. Where are you? I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I can't, I can't leave him. Clint! So. You're awake. What happened? Where are we? You really think we're done with you? Hey, easy. Easy, Adam. Easy, calm down. It's me. Okay. Adam. Where are we? We're almost back to the truck. Well, how long was I out? A while. Are you okay? For sure. But you're back, right? And I felt like somebody was trying to take me. It took me, didn't it? Oh, God. I can still feel it. Ah! Come on, Clint. We have to go. Adam. Ah! Listen, listen, ah! listen. The, the quad's out of gas, but we are only a half-day walk away. You just, you just need to rest. You will leave at first light.
Where's your brother? <laughs> he, oh, he, there he is. 